Hello and welcome again to another brief educational video courtesy of investingsuccess.ca. In this video we're going to look at silver and we're going to look at the application of square root mathematics to help us look at silver in a very different way. The chart you see in front of you is a longer term monthly chart of silver futures going back to 1999. Now the starting point for the application of square root mathematics is what appears to be a low that silver made back in 2001 at around $4 an ounce. So using that $4 price point as my start, I apply several iterations of a very simple square root mathematical formula. And all of this is explained in my recent book, The Lost Science. I tell you how uh, W.D. Gann was uh, one of the pioneers in using square root mathematics back in the 1920s and 30s. From that we get the square of 9, the very simple iterations that anybody can follow to uh, apply square roots to trading and investing. So uh, I've done a number of iterations using the square root formula. I haven't shown all of the results here on the chart. I've just shown a couple of them for you. Uh, one of the iterations produces an overhead resistance level of 1521. And in fact, if you look and, and see what silver did back in 2006, where did it encounter overhead resistance? Yeah, right around 1521 an ounce. Another level that pops out of the calculations is 2025. And in fact, we can see that back in 2008, immediately before the financial crisis, where did silver uh, find overhead resistance? 2025. Now here's the big one. If you continue to apply these iterations, one of the numbers that eventually will pop out of the equation is uh, $50.41. And look at where silver spiked in uh, 2011. $50.41, give or take. Um, now since that uh, point, silver has been falling. We can use square root mathematics to figure out lines of support for a downtrending market. $25.58 is a number that pops out of the calculations and look at where silver found support in 2012. $18.13 is another one and look at where silver recently found support uh, and we hope that this is uh, a very significant bottom. Now we can uh, apply uh, square root mathematics to add another level of interpretation to this or any chart for any stock or any commodity. And what I've done here is I've taken the the significant high at uh, just over $50 an ounce um, reached in 2011. And from there, I've used square root mathematics and I have determined the 1 by 1, the 1 by 2, the 1 by 3, and I've even gone so far as to calculate the 1 by 8 uh, GAN lines. And you can see that um, as, as part of its downtrend, uh, the price of silver from its $50 high uh, dropped pretty hard and, and more or less uh, then tried to recover and it, it uh, hit the 1 by 8 downtrending line. It managed to get up through there and then it hit resistance at the 1 by 3 GAN line and look what it did. It proceeded to drop again in October 2011 and it stopped right at that 1 by 8 GAN line. From there it basically chopped sideways and uh, ran up against the 1 by 3 GAN line again. Sort of followed that downwards and then it rallied uh, into October 2012 and, and uh, ever since then it basically has been following the 1 by 2 and the 1 by 1 GAN line. So GAN lines, uh, levels of support, levels of, of resistance using square root mathematics, very potent combination and it's a technique that will allow you to view a stock or a commodity as I say in a very very unique light. Now to wrap things up um, please be sure to visit me at my website, investingsuccess.ca. Uh, give some thought to uh, subscribing to my new service, the Astrological E-Alert. Uh, make sure you read my uh, blogs at astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com. Give some thought to buying the bull, the bear, and the planets, a very basic look at uh, financial astrology. Give some thought to uh, purchasing the lost science, uh, a somewhat deeper look at esoteric mathematics and a deeper look at astrological techniques that one can apply to trading and investing. So thank you very much for watching this brief video today. Have a great day and good trading. Take care.